ladies, welcome back to the channel. I'm Yanka, your Christian fitness trainer and prayer warrior. And all you'll need today is a stability ball and a um, band. But if you don't have either, I'll show some modifications. And also um, a jump rope, but if you don't have one, I'll be doing the workout with both the jump rope and I'll show you how to do it without as well. As always, ladies, I'm gonna pray first. Father, I thank you for this, your people. I thank you for blessing them, Father, um, making them whole, restoring their hope to them, Father, healing anything that is out of alignment with your word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. All right, ladies, we're gonna start by rotating our ears towards our shoulders, just side to side. Each time you come middle chin towards the chest. Doing good. Look over the shoulder, bring it center, other shoulder, center. Doing good. Look from wall to wall or side to side. I'm gonna roll those shoulders and the shoulder blades down our backs. Make sure you're standing nice and tall, your shoulder blades roll down your back. I'm gonna alternate those shoulder rolls. Engage that core by pulling that belly button in. Good, we're going to reverse that flow. Shoulders go forward this time. Keep that belly button pulled in towards your spine. Good, we're going to step those legs out. We're going to rotate around. Just getting that upper body ready for movement. So all we're doing in the beginning is all going to reverse that flow. All um, dynamic or moving stretches. We're not going to hold anything just yet. And this is, a, now we're moving down towards the, or to the hips. So you're making circles. And this workout is gonna be an interval workout. So we're gonna go reverse that. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, right? Rotating um, jumping rope with um, strength exercises. And we're using a ball, but if you don't have a ball, I have an option for you. If you don't have a jump rope, there's an option for you as well. All right, so keep, open up that hip flexor, rotate that knee out away from the midline of the body. Get a little balance work there too. You're pulling those heels back towards your bottom or your glutes, getting those um, quads nice and ready for movement on the front of those thighs. Now go ahead, knees and feet together and you're drawing circles on the floor. That's it, reverse that. Working on that balance again, but also rotating that ankle. You want to reverse that and do the same thing. Good, let's switch sides. Get that balance. If you need a wall, feel free to hold on on a chair. Doing good, reverse that. Nice, you stay stepping those legs nice and wide. Then we're going to get those inner thighs nice and warm. So you're sitting back into the heel, push those glutes back and keep that knee behind that toe. You're hinging forward from your hips, so keep your spine nice and long. Good. From here, we're gonna take our chest down towards the floor and press that spine back and up. Roll those blades down, just getting that spine ready for a movement. We'll roll it up, leave that chest, tuck that pelvis forward, belly button in and roll it on up. Good. Down, tuck, and roll on up. Roll those shoulder blades down that back. We're gonna tap. And heel, tap, and heel, and round out. Open up that chest, round, and open. That's it. Take it nice and high, stretching those lats out. And reach across. Good. Stretching through those arms in that upper back. Now, same thing heel, tap, and open, round out. Going good, take it nice and high. Good, and tap, and heel. Nice job, ladies. Get ready to work, grab those jump ropes, or if you don't have one, that's absolutely fine. Get ready to jump, or move. All right, go ahead and just, we're doing a little boxer shuffle here. And you see up in the um, corner, you have it, um, I have, I'm jumping with the jump rope. And then on the main screen, no jump rope, so it can be done either way. 
And if you don't have a jump rope, you can always use weights as well. Very light weights. I usually use two pounds, one or two pounds. All right, get ready for your next move. You're going to work those quads. So get your ball, extend up, squeeze those quads, bring it back down. Keep your spine in neutral position. That means no arching your back and no pelvic tilt. Your belly button is in. You're in a natural position of your spine. If you're doing the other um, one, you're sitting up in a chair. It doesn't have to be a ball. And extend those legs out and have ankle weights on too for a little more resistance. Nice job, ladies. Let's get ready to jump rope again. All right, let's go. No feet stay together. Just up and up and down, up and down. Just on the ball of those feet. And so I did this video because I want you to see you can jump rope without a rope. Because sometimes you can get frustrated. So. Strings. So get that ball. Press those heels into the ball. Lift those glutes up. Roll those heels in towards your glutes and let them down. Or if you don't have a ball, you are in the corner. We're doing a um, deadlift here. So. It's not really a stiff legs, my knees are bent. But make sure you go all the way up and you're squeezing those glutes and you're hinging from your hips. Very good. Getting ready to jump and coming right back up. All right, ladies, this time we're jumping with those knees, lifting those knees up. So bring those knees up towards your chest. And you can see I'm on the knees when you're doing a little bit of this little pace. And then if you want to take it. Squeezing that ball, so this is your inner thigh ball squeeze. So you can squeeze those inner thighs as you pull those knees together. Whether you have the um, small ball or the big ball. So you're squeezing, release. Squeeze, release. Tighten those inner thighs each time you squeeze. Instead, so in the upper corner, I'm doing a plank. So right here, I'm on the knees. You keep your spine nice and long. Sorry, that's good. Elbows on the ball. Keep that belly button pulling in. Good, ladies, stay on the balls of those feet. You're nice and tall. Belly button pulling in. Good. Moving on to um, crunches or curl ups. So get ready. 
All right, if you're on the floor, rib cage down towards your pelvis, actually on the ball in on the floor, and get those shoulder blades up off the floor. And if you're on the ball, same thing, rib cage down towards the pelvis, belly button in, you can press your spine into the ball. Keep that belly button pulling into your spine, ladies. All right, we have the one foot or the one leg hop. So we're starting with the one side first. And same thing, ball of the feet or foot. <laughs> That's it. Nice job. All right, let's get ready. For the other side, we skip the strength in here. I'm just noticing this, but that's okay. It's a little cardio challenge. <laughs> it's all good. Looking good. Right, let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Very good. Very nice. Let's get these rows in. You're gonna pull it back and squeeze those shoulder blades together and keep your spine long. Make sure you're hinging from those hips, all right? So core strong, spine is long, elbows back, squeeze those shoulder blades together. All right, let's get back up. Let's get this. I'm hopping in. And so we're back doing the boxer shuffle here. Very good, ladies. All right, get ready for this chest press. If you're on the ball, and I like doing this on the ball because it, it, it um, forces you to use your core and your glutes, which are also part of the core. And if you're on the floor, we're doing a chest fly because you'll have a greater range of motion than a chest press. So squeeze those pec or chest muscles each time you bring those palms together. This time we're going knees out and in or toes in and out. Okay. So we hit the calves a little bit differently with this. All right, ladies, let's get these biceps in. So when you're on that ball, make sure those elbows are supported and you're squeezing those thighs. And if you're not on the ball and you're standing, keep those elbows right close to the body and squeeze those biceps each time you curl up. All right, let's go right back into a shuffle. Stand or sit nice and tall. Press those dumbbells above your head. And you're working those shoulders. Spine stays nice and long, belly back in. Good. Job well done, ladies. Way to go. We did it, way to go ladies. Getting ready to cool it down and stretch it out. We're gonna hold these stretches this time. Gonna roll the shoulder blades back. Open up that chest, you're taking those arms back. Lift that chest up towards the ceiling. Good, 
bending from below the shoulder blades, get a nice stretch for the chest. Nice. This time, pull those arms down, chin to chest, stretch those shoulders. And those over the press, presses. That's what you're stretching those muscles right in there. All right. This time, we're gonna round out, press that spine away, keep those shoulders off the ears, get a nice stretch through your upper back. That chin towards that chest. Take those legs wider than hip distance. Good. Now I'm going to get ready. Stretching that chest out. Lift that chest up. Good. Stretch it to the ab area. Take it down. Roll through that spine all the way towards the floor. Get a nice stretch for the back of those thighs. And if you can't reach the fourth floor, that's quite all right. Grab above those knees or in those shins, the middle of the legs. And nice stretch. Then roll them back up and step those legs wide in the hip distance and go ahead and sit into that inner thigh stretch. Weight is in that front heel. Press those glutes back. Keep that front knee behind that toe. We're gonna to shift to the other side and do the same thing. Stretch the opposite inner thigh, knee behind the toe, glutes back. Weight is in that heel. Bring the center. A little bit more of a stretch for the inner thigh. Now we're bringing it in, stretching those hamstrings once again. And you go as far as far out as was um, comfortable. Make sure hamstrings will talk to you. <laughs> Now we're rolling on through the spine, or we align the spine coming all the way up over the shoulder blades down your backs. Now we're going to stretch through the calf, so we did all that jumping. So we're going to press that heel down towards the floor. And let those calves elongate. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Weight is in the heel, that knee stays behind that toe, and you're pressing that back heel to the floor. Get a nice stretch for the back of that leg. And bring it on up. Now, get ready to hold that balance a little bit or we're going it. We're going to stretch that quad out from the thigh. So go ahead and stack those knees and knees there together. Tuck that pelvis forward, pull that foot up. Get a nice stretch for the back. We reset. We'll do the same thing on the other side. If you need the wall or the chair, go for it. And tall, roll those blades on your back. Nice job, ladies. All right, go ahead and give me those hip circles. I always like doing these for the lower back. Go the other way. Looks good. Open up those flexors too. Stretch those out. Round out, open up. Round, tuck that pelvis, open up. Stretch that chest, take it nice and high. Stretch those abs. Take it down, inhale it up again. Gonna cross through the front and the back. We take a bow and we praise the Lord. Ladies, thanks Hallelujah. for joining me on this workout. If you found it um, helpful and beneficial in any way, do me a favor, subscribe and like it, um, comment and share it. I'd greatly appreciate it. And also this is a reminder just for the, my, the entire month of December. I'm only doing one workout. It'll be released on Tuesdays and um, prayer in the beginning of the week, usually on Monday. So. Have a great rest of your week and um, I'll see you next week. God bless and have a great day. Bye.